Hi children. In the previous class, we have learned about the foods we are taking, and also what is a balanced diet. And now we are going to learn about digestion of food. Okay, how the food is digested in our body? We are eating a different type of a foods. Okay, so. The food that we eat is not directly used to provide energy. Okay, what the food we are eating, it is not directly used for energy. It is broken down into simpler form. The process of breaking down a food into simpler form is called digestion. Okay, from what we are doing from mouth, it's going through food pipe. After that, liver, stomach, pancreas, large intestine, and to small intestine. Okay, the digested food is observed by the blood and taken to all the parts of the body. Okay, the food is absorbed by the blood and also it is taken to all parts of the body. So the food is digested in this process. The process of digestion. The process of digestion begins from the moment we put food into our mouth. Okay, with the help of our teeth. We bite and chew the food and break into small pieces. As we chew, the saliva in our mouth mixes with the food, and the saliva is a digestive liquid secreted by the salivary glands. That means, when we eat, we eat the food. What we are doing, we are eating with the help of the teeth, and we bite that, and we chew into small pieces. That so with that food. The saliva is mixed. Okay, it forms a digestive liquid and secreted by the salivary glands. And saliva changes the insoluble starch in food into soluble sugar. That is why starch foods like bread and rice taste sweet after we chew them. That means it is having some starch. That's why the bread and the rice is also. Some sweet when we eat from the mouth, the food passes through the food pipe into the stomach. Already I said, no, a stomach is a hollow muscular bag. The food is churned here. The digested juices into the stomach and break down the proteins present in the food into a simpler form. That means the food we are eating in, uh, and it's uh, forming into saliva. And it is after eating, it passes through the food pipe into the stomach, and it is a churn, and also it digested as a juice into the stomach and break down into proteins. This is called a simpler form. From the stomach, the food pipe is okay pushed into a long coil tube called a small intestine. So in the diagram, we can see this. Okay. <laughs> The inside walls of the small intestine produce a juice that mix with the food. The liver and the pancreas also pour their juices into the small intestine. This juice helps us to complete digest food. The digest food is almost like a liquid. Okay, the blood vessels present in the walls of a small intestine absorb the digest food and carry into all parts of the body okay already i said in this diagram that okay first we are taking through a salivary gland after that mouth food pipe okay liver stomach pancreas large intestine and small intestine okay so it is carrying through small intestine it is digested and carried into all parts of the body the undigested food passes into the large intestine the blood vessels in the walls of the large intestine absorbs the extra water okay from small to large when it enters it is taking a lot of water the semi solid waste is passed out through the anus that means the waste which is there in our body it is passing through this anus okay some tips for proper digestion okay some are having a digestion problem so that type of we can take this a tips have 
your food at a fixed hours chew your food well before swallowing eat a lots of green vegetables and fruits and do not overeat a drink plenty of water that means the digested food be should be in proper way means what we have to do we have to eat a proper time and we have to chew the food and eat a lot of green vegetables and we should not eat over and drink a plenty of water okay this is about a digestion so children if we see here a checkpoint food rich in carbohydrates and the fats are energy giving foods and roughest is the fiber in our food the digested food is absorbed by the blood vessels of the small intestine okay this is next a preparing food okay how we are preparing the food we eat raw as well as a cooked food okay fruits and certain vegetables are eaten raw we should wash them properly that means we are eating some raw that means uncooked and cooked food also and fruits and vegetables so we have to wash them properly before eating so as to free them from dust and germs and other type of foods are cooked before eating some food such as rice and potatoes are boiled and idlis are steamed porridge are fried potatoes brinjals and meat are sometimes roasted and cooking makes food soft tasty and easily digestible it also kills the germs in the food so while we are cooking what happens here the germs are we are killing them okay these are how we are preparing the foods and things to remember while cooking so a things to remember while cooking do not throw away the water in which pulses are soap it contains vitamins use it for cooking okay the pulses we are soap that it is containing a vitamins okay we should not use it for we have to use it for cooking do not wash vegetables and fruits after cutting them okay we should not wash them after cutting while boiling take just enough water so the water which has dissolved the nutrients is not thrown away that means when we are boiling them okay we have to take the quantity of water it needs okay we should not throw them and do not cook over cook too much roasting and frying destroys the nutrients that means while we are doing fries or curries we should not fry them so if we fry a lot that means the nutri uh, nutrients will spoil there okay these are the things we have to remember while cooking so children next a preserving food how we have to store the food food is valuable if it if not preserved it may begin to spoil okay so that means here the food is very valuable if not preserved it may begin to spoil the process of treating food in a way that preserves okay its value for a long time called preservation cooked or uncooked food can be preserved in different ways okay so that means here the which is cooking or which is not we are cooking so we can preserve it a different types okay so next we are having a bit part children here eggs fish cheese peas and pulses are called energy giving foods these are protective foods fruits and vegetables and the third one calcium potassium sodium iodine and iron are examples of minerals from mouth the food passes through the food pipe into stomach do not wash vegetables and fruits after cutting them the name of the nutrients are proteins fats vitamins minerals carbohydrates and sources we are using and the functions okay how it help us let's uh, match the columns body building nutrients proteins protective nutrients vitamins and minerals changing of food into simpler form digestion the digestive liquid in the mouth saliva makes food last longer preservations okay 
and then next uh, we are having here diagram so we have to label these parts the following is the diagram of human digestive system label it with words from the box already i have explained you the diagram in the video so write the parts and post it okay now so children here are life skills we can see some diagrams uh, learn to have a balance and mean which one is a healthy breakfast plate a or plate b okay so here we are having some sweets and also here we are having some fruits milk and pulses so in the plate see what are the healthy food we are having here so draw the diagrams and color them in this plate c okay now children